I'll never tell, never tell. Just trust that I'll keep it locked in a cell. Never revealing no secrets. You're keeping these promises strong as a spell. I'll never tell. Yeah, I'm like you, that's for sure. Never have to close the door. Been a long time, a year before, and I'm missing you. Jana. Guys, today I'm going to show you how to make absolutely amazing soup, zucchini soup. And there's so many different recipes for zucchini soup, but this one you have to try. And let's get started. Okay, guys, so let's start making zucchini soup. How are we going to do it? We need seven zucchinis, small zucchinis, or it's two pounds, okay? One potato onion, two cloves of garlic, we are going to use um, two of uh, one or two, we will see how many do we need, it's a vegetable broth or you can use chicken, uh, beef, whatever you like, parsley, oregano, and of course we are going to use lots of basil, okay, so that's basic ingredients and I'm going to show you how we're going to start it, let's get started, okay, so we're going to start with cutting off the onion guys so far so onion just cubes okay so I do like this just the small cubes so now so the onion we cut the onion so now it's a chili pepper so I'm using the red one so your soup is going to be like a little bit on the spicy side. So you can have half. I'm using the all of it. So small pieces like that, guys. Okay. So that's done. Okay. So the next, next, it's potato, guys. And the importance to use the potato for your, this recipe actually, it's my uh, father-in-law. He's from Calabria, but he makes uh, zucchini soup. So that's his recipe. So he's using one potato and what's important because it gives that creaminess um, for your soup, okay? So we're going to cut potato, the cubes. Okay, guys, like this, I'm going to show you. So the potato is going to be cut like this. Okay. I'm using a yellow flesh potato. It's very tasty for the soup to use. So you cut small. And before we go to the stove, guys, we're going to cut zucchini, okay? We're using seven zucchinis or two pounds of zucchini, same thing. Okay, so I will show you how I'm going to cut the zucchini, guys. It's um, very simple, you just cut in half, okay? And just cubes, like this, okay? And like that. It doesn't matter how you're going to cut because we're going to use blender in the end. We're going to blend all vegetables, okay? Like this. Okay, so that's what you do with all your seven zucchinis. Okay, guys, so now we're at the stove and we're going to start with olive oil. So we need approximately like six uh, tablespoons of olive oil and then we're going to put onion and squeeze the garlic and the chili pepper. And come and have a close look. Okay, so we turn it off the heat, medium high, Okay, guys, medium high, and put olive oil. As I said, like four to six tablespoons of olive oil, and um, we're starting with the onion and um, pepper, chili pepper goes in, garlic, but just a little bit later because if you're going to put garlic right away, garlic is going to start burning, and you don't want burnt garlic. So uh, simmer just for a few minutes, up to two to three minutes until your onion will get um, 
a little bit translucent and so we can add now garlic two cloves okay i like to squeeze it you can cut it like okay Let's squeeze the garlic with the pepper oops such a big part It's really big garlic, hard to squeeze. Okay. I'm going to add one potato. We cut one potato, and as I said, 24 potato is very important because it will make your reduce the heat a little bit. It will make your soup more creamy, like amazing texture. Okay, so one potato. Okay, guys. So now you see, like the potato and onion, it's kind of potato is getting softer. Okay, what we do now? Now it's a time when we're introducing our zucchini. So seven zucchini. Okay, guys. So we are going to simmer our zucchini on um, a low heat okay for a few minutes until they become a little bit more softer and then what we will do we are going to add um vegetable or chicken or beef broth it's a uh, cubes two cubes on um three cups of water okay and i'm going to show how we're going to do it okay guys now it's time we are going to add our um bouillons okay two bouillons so I'm not going to add salt because it's salty already, all right? And as I mentioned, three cups of water. So this is two and this is a little bit. So total three, okay? Three cups of water. So we are going to mix it. We were going to increase a little bit, like the heat just uh, a little bit more and let it cook for until, so we are cooking now until you're, vegetables your zucchini potato is soft and then i'm going to show what we're going to do okay let's wait for a few minutes guys you can see our soup is cooking okay so just a little bit of oregano i would say if you don't have the bunch like that so one um teaspoon okay one teaspoon of oregano one teaspoon and this is parsley one teaspoon of parsley as well okay. and continue to cook until it's soft so look at this it's getting so beautiful okay guys that's we don't need that okay, okay guys now um i'm going it's uh it's soft now you try it and i tried it and it's really soft so it's, it's perfect so what i'm doing now this is basil guys i want you to see this is basil so I'm taking like a lot of basil like like this, like the full hand, okay? I don't know how many leaves here, but probably like a, a cup, a cup of basil, okay? So you put now like this, even you can put like a little bit more basil, like as much as you can, like a full hand, like that. And so what we are going to do now, so I'm turning off the heat. So basil you don't cook, okay? So you just do like this and so what we are going to do now and we are going to blend everything okay and i'm going to show how to do it and then if you it tastes if it's uh, if you need a little bit more salt you add salt and um and as a, 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 a like like i use like a full um chili pepper like the the chili pepper but if it's too spicy for you just use half okay just a little bit try half from half to the full it depends how spicy you like okay now we're using blender okay so the basil the basil we didn't cook we just put um in the end okay? look at this soup absolutely delicious amazing recipe ever this recipe is my father-in-law he's from calabria but i want to mention something I used a chili pepper, the whole chili pepper, because he likes, he's from Calabria and he likes um, soups, everything like on a spicy side. Like it's really, it's 
a little bit spicy but it's totally up to you it's optional you can use just a little bit of chili pepper or half or like if you like on spicy side go ahead and use a whole and salt i didn't add any salt i just used those um, cubes but if you feel it's a little bit unsalty but for me it's perfectly fine but you can add a little bit of salt okay this time it's time to dry let me see mm. so tasty i'm speechless it's it's absolutely delicious guys and i want you to have a look how creamy it is and you remember we used one potato you need it because that gives that creaminess look at this creaminess guys look Look how it just it's creamy, it's so delicious, it's tasty. It's it's amazing recipe, so delicious and tasty. And you have to try it. Okay, so now I take a bowl and we are going to use it. I'm going to show you the beautiful presentation of the soup. It's absolutely amazing. Okay, look at this. And what you can do, guys, you can just take, um, you know, you can use uh, Parmigiano cheese if you like. That's what my father-in-law likes. He puts a little bit of Parmigiano cheese on the top, and that's how he likes it, and I like it too. That's I use Parmigiano cheese in all my soups because that's I like the taste, and that's beautiful. It's absolutely divine. Okay, and I'm going to see you in a second. Guys, tada, it's ready. Come and have a quick look. Our zucchini soup is ready. It's absolutely amazing recipe, delicious, and it's going to be your favorite soup. And I want to say, if you like my video, don't forget to subscribe and give me a like, and we'll see you next time on the cooking show. Bye bye. I'll never tell, never tell Just trust that I'll keep it locked in a cell Never revealing no secrets You're keeping these promises strong as a spell